for tuning in. Today I thought we'd talk about hoof landings and correct hoof biomechanics. So we'll talk a little bit about what's correct, what's incorrect, um, and how to recognize correct, incorrect, and the whole spectrum in between. Um, there's, there's a lot to talk about with hooves, so this will probably just scratch the surface, um, but you'll at least get a good idea of how to look for it and the implications that the incorrect landings are going to have um, up the chain and how it will impact the horse as, as he's going, as you're riding and trying to do things you want to do. So when a horse is walking, it's normal to see a flat foot to a heel first landing. Uh, when they're going faster than a walk, we really want to see that heel landing first. Sometimes a toe first landing is normal. Uh, times when it's normal could be on slippery terrain, if it's muddy or snowy or icy, uh, if they're going uphill, or with really hyper collected movements like a piaf, you're going to see the toe landing first. A toe first landing is not normal in all of those other times I mentioned. So a lot of times we'll see that. Um, it's very common. It was actually really hard for me to find videos of horses landing heel first. I have tons of horses landing toe first and getting heel first was hard. Um, but that does not, just because it's common does not mean uh, that it's correct. So why do we want the horse landing heel first? It's a very good question. But that's really because that's how the hoof is designed. So in the back of the hoof, we have the frog, we have the digital cushion, and we have the lateral cartilages. All of these soft tissue structures are designed for absorption of concussive forces. So when that heel is landing, it's dissipating the forces and keeping them from going up the chain into the bones. If the horse is landing toe first, then they're landing with that hard cop and bone first, those forces can't be dissipated and they're carried up the chain. So that's when you see things like arthritis and ring bones start to develop because the bone is having to absorb forces that it's not designed to deal with. When the horse is landing heel first, those are absorbed and then the horse rolls onto the toe and that rigid surface is what they use to push off. So they have strength to push forward from that rigid, rigid toe um, and that's how they propel themselves forward. When the horse lands toe first, toe hits first, and they have to rock back on the heel, and then they have to rock forward again. So another reason why it's just not as efficient as rolling through heel to toe. The other thing that can happen when they're landing toe first is a lot more pressure is put on the digital flexor tendons and the suspensory ligament. That's when you'll start to see things like navicular disease, um, changes in the navicular bone, that all comes from that toe first landing. And it's a bit of a vicious cycle because um, once they start landing toe first, then the, the structures in the back of the foot will atrophy because they're not being used. And then those um, structures in the back aren't as well equipped to absorb the forces and then it gets painful in the back of the foot and they compensate further with the toe first landing and it's really hard cycle to get out of sometimes but that's why you really want to work with your hoof care provider uh, to figure out the best solution for you and your horse when that's happening. So let's go ahead and dive in. Uh, we'll look at toe first landings first because I think it's a little easier to understand what the right thing looks like once you know what the wrong things look like. Um, so we'll go toe first first and then we'll look at a flat foot landing and then we'll look at a couple examples of good heel first landings. Okay, I promised you toe first. So here's our first example um, of toe first. I'll play the video through one time just in regular slow-mo and then we'll play it through again and I'll give you a little freeze frame right before the foot hits the ground each time. That'll make it a little easier to, to break it down. Uh, but if you're doing this on your own and you're having trouble visualizing, the slow-mo feature on your phone is your best is your best helper. Uh, sometimes it can be pretty tricky to visualize when the horse is just walking by. But here we can see freeze frame, toe landing first, rocks back on the heel, and then we'll have to rock back over the toe again for the foot to break over. And then the back foot lands, that's a little bit more flat, so that I would call a flat foot landing there. Um, we have a couple more examples, toe first. And while you're watching, um, it's useful to pay attention to what's happening further up the leg in addition to what's happening 
at the foot. Once you really can recognize what's happening at the hoof level, um, you can kind of watch what's going on um, at the fetlock joint, at the carpal joint, when you're comparing toe first, flat foot, and heel first landings. Um, I'm going to stop talking for a minute and let you guys just watch. Um, with the next example after this one, I'm going to leave the volume up on that video and you can listen to what the difference sounds like when we're having toe first versus heel first landings. Um, you'll hear the front feet landing toe first and the hind feet landing foot flat. Um, and it'll be really interesting to hear hear the difference as well as see it. So that's the one I wanted you to listen to. Um, if you didn't hear it, go ahead, rewind and watch that one through again. But you'll hear as the front feet land, the toe is landing first and you hear a ba dump. And then as the last foot, uh, the hind feet land, uh, it's landing flat and that's just a one beat dunk. So that two beats, ba dump, that's just a good way to listen and hear um, for that toe first landing. Okay, this next one's gonna show toe first landing at the trot. A good way to visualize that um, without using your slow-mo camera is to see, look for that, that spraying of dirt as the horse lands. If they're chipping their toe in first, you're gonna get a lot more um, spraying of sand than you will if they're landing flat or heel first. Okay, our next examples are gonna be flat foot landings. I'm not gonna talk much about it. I'm just gonna let you guys watch. Um, we'll go through a few examples here. And you may notice with some of these videos that the hind feet are gonna be landing slightly heel first. And I'm really looking at the front feet landing flat. If you're noticing that, then don't worry, you're, you're correct. Sometimes those hind feet are landing slightly heel first in these next few videos.
right, and last but not least, we have our heel first landings. Uh, you might notice that the front right foot is landing a little more flat. Uh, so even in my excellent example of heel first landings, it's still not completely perfect. Uh, it just kind of goes to show you how uh, pervasive this problem of toe first landings is in domesticated horses. Uh, but here I'll let you guys watch uh, what it looks like to land heel first. We'll have a look at a trot um, and kind of keep in mind what I mentioned about slicker surfaces. Uh, he is landing flat footed with his front feet um, that we are trotting on asphalt, but that hind foot shows a really nice heel first landing at the trot. And then here we have an example of some good heel first landings in the canter. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully that cleared a little bit up for you um, and hopefully you feel a little more confident in at least recognizing when a horse is landing heel first with a flat foot or toe first. If you have questions about what you've seen, please leave me uh, your questions in the comments and I will get back to you all um, on all of those. And if you liked what you saw today and you want more videos, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks and I'll see you guys next time.